it's really an embarrassment to our country. There's been nobody better to farmers than Donald Trump that I can tell you. I, I, I think farmers have been disproportionately hurt by the uh, trade the disruption with China. I think they are uh, one of the casualties there of the trade disruption, yes. Look at all of the products that might be affected. Even the president's own economic advisor acknowledged U.S. companies would likely pay a tax increase, which would ultimately be passed on to the consumer. U.S. businesses and U.S. consumers who pay, correct? Uh, yes, to some extent. I, mean, yeah, I don't disagree with that. Again, both sides, both sides will suffer on this. And with the geopolitical uh, turmoil that the president has thrown into the mix over the last year, uh, the markets just don't have anywhere to go, so they're just sitting and hiding. We're, we're, we're in shape out here, and we're hurting. This is not going well for farmers at all. I mean, some of them are trying to be faithful because they made that decision and voted for them, but I'd have to say in the back of their minds, they're, they're just not very happy right now. We need the wall for purposes of national security. The military is behind it all the way. Millions in funds allocated for Tyndall Air Force Base in Florida are being diverted. Same goes for military facilities in Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, Texas, and Wisconsin. I think it's unprecedented. It's simply astonishing. And they got our new Secretary of Defense, Secretary Mark Esper, to sign off on it that he could use these funds for a different purpose. So I think it's a fundamental threat to the way our democracy works. Taking the money away from the Pentagon and putting it on a wall brings the Pentagon into this political conversation in a way that is not good for the Pentagon, it's not good for the country. So it has a human face, but it also has a strategic kind of position that's playing. I don't believe that. No, I don't think the Israelis were spying on us. I, I really would find that hard to believe. Uh, the U.S. government concluded within the last two years that Israel was most likely behind the placement of cell phone surveillance devices that were found near the White House and other sensitive locations around Washington, D.C., according to three former senior U.S. officials with knowledge of the matter. It's really an embarrassment to our country.